Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's important video, we are going to solve one very interesting interview scenario along with a real-time challenge. And the issue is finding out sales for your, you know, uh, sales for minimum day of each month and maximum day of each month. Now we can consider this question or scenario in two ways. One is exactly finding out for the first day and the last day of each month for every year or minimum day and maximum day. So let us try also try to understand what is the difference between these two. And while doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let us get started. So to create my view, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my order date uh, and I'm just duplicating it to get it in month format. Now for each year we have got month. Likewise, we also need days, exact date so that we know, we can know on which date we had orders like that. So I'm converting this into exact date and I'm just making it discrete. And here I'm taking my sales. Now let us find out what is happening here. Now, if you see for 2019, in January month, we have sales for 3rd of January, right? Whereas maximum day that we have is 31st January 2019 and 291. Likewise, in February, if you observe, we have sales for 1st Feb and we have last sales for 27th Feb. Now, the point that we need to understand here is if I say minimum order for each month and maximum order date means what? Minimum is three here, but technically speaking, the first day of the month is one one, right? So first January, but here, because we did not have any orders placed on that particular day, there is no entry on that day, right? Likewise, if you go for February here, we have uh, an order on that particular day, but maximum, if you see it is last on 27th Feb and we do not have any order on 28th Feb. So now this point, you need to understand what is the expectation from the client and based on that, you need to derive the logic. Okay, so I'm trying to do it using an LOD expression and I'm calling as min and max. So what is the question here? We need to find out for each year, for each month, minimum order date. Okay, so when I say for each, what is the LOD expression that we need to use? It is fixed, right? So I'm using and fixed LOD expression. I need at year of order date, comma, month of order date. So for at these two levels, I need minimum order date, simple. Okay, let us see what will be the result of this. So I'm just applying Okay, and I'm just taking this and making it exact date and I'll make it discrete so that, you know, we know what is the result it is producing. So like this, you know, we need to derive our values a step by step so that we know what is the each statement it is returning. Now, if you see minimum order date means what is it returning for 2019th for January month, it is giving us a third of January. It is not giving us first of January. Now, if at all I want to get first of January, what should I do? We should use date trunk function at the month level. Now, when we are truncating that, that will truncate it to the first day of the month, right? Now, you try to solve it using date trunk and see what is happening, okay? Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find out same likewise, I'm trying to find out a maximum day at each level. So simply at this level, if you write max, okay, you should get max date for each month. See, January, what is the maximum date? We have 31st, we are getting. In February, what do we have the maximum date? 27th, same we are getting. Now I am going to use this as a calculation. See how I'm going to write. I want this minimum or maximum date to match with my order date. Then only I will treat it as my condition, simple, okay? So I'm, what I'm doing, I'm writing a simple if statement. If my order date is equal to this minimum order date, okay? So I'll just write something like this and uh, I'll close my bracket here. 
and this bracket here opening here okay so which is which means this is my one complete statement okay so if my order date is equal to minimum order date or i'm just co copying it as is i'm hitting enter so purposefully i'm writing it in multiple lines so that it makes our readability easy so i'm writing max so either my order date should be equal to minimum order date or maximum order date which means we should either get first or we should get last okay if this is one among this two then treat it as one else zero so if you have seen my previous calculation like how we have created flag similar fashion i'm creating another flag here to find out my first and last order date for each month click on apply okay now if you see and if i will just drop it here i'll take only one we need only matching condition now for every month in each year we are getting first and last order date okay now because we don't need this min and max these are your sales for that particular day that way we can do okay so i hope you find this situation useful and you know important we can try to implement this in your project if if at all a similar request arises uh, i hope this video helped if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day